Rebel 12% airflow. Here we go. Oh! Makes a weird and whistling noise. Seventy two is the final. Very maneuverable, very fun to fly. All EPP. Going for another loop. And another loop. Zoom out if you need to a little bit if you're getting something. Okay, you're a better cameraman than I am. Ooh, shall we correct it? Oop, there's a wreck. We just pounded it into the ground. Drops okay. Plugs are okay. Battery. Oh, it's all still in there. Servo's working good. Looks like it's fine. Keep the camera on. Has a pretty good recovery, just letting go of the stick. Okay, so it's a lander. This is glide. Nice. And landing. Nice. This is the 14% airfoil, symmetrical. Crash test hobby, Rebel. Hands off. Lie down real well. Kind of whistle. This is a fan. Seventy one. Let's do some slow speed here. I can tell that the 14% will slow down a little bit better. Just, just, uh, about 30. I can feel, I can feel that at the lower end, I'm not needing to keep so much elevator and throttle into it. Here, let's see what we can do. Once again, close to 30. Very good response. Very smooth handling. Good vertical with just a 1534 motor. Top end on this motor is usually about 70 to 75 miles an hour. This one's got a 1534? Yeah. 
I mean, they look really fast. I mean, even flying it, this is not a this is not a slow plane for a 40 incher. Okay, let's do another, uh, just a landing and another launch here. Did I get in your way? No, you're good. Okay, yep. So I mean if you're inverted with the semi-symmetrical you actually get reverse lift? Yeah, actually it does. It's pulling you down with Bernoulli effect. Oh, Excellent flying point. So this is the Rebel 16%. So uh, let's see how it does. Seventy-three. Okay, we're just gliding here. So they're not terribly different in speed. Uh -oh. I actually didn't expect them to be. I think that the difference will come when you start pushing the speed over a hundred. That's true. We're using the same motor on all. We're we're not pushing. I mean, yeah, we're not using a super heavy motor on these. Our high it's voltage. actually keeping it down in a small park, very low RPM, very controllable, I'm not having any trouble. About 37. They need to be moving a lot faster than the semi-symmetricals to stay airborne at least. Yeah, they do. But, uh, the, uh, the, I think that the semi-symmetrical flies the same speed forward, the weakness of the semi-symmetrical is a little bit, the aerobatics are a little bit better on this plane. Inverted is a little bit better. Uh, you almost need zero uh, uh, reflex in the elevons. Motor angle is at zero percent. The These planes were set up with a very inexpensive setup. I've got Corona 238 servos in them. I've got, uh, I'm actually using the FlySky radio system with the B transmitters in it. Antennas are buried in the wings on those. I have a 40 amp speed control because I'm going to start throwing 3530 motors on these and push them up into the 100 mile an hour range. But for right now, this is we wanted a test where we had similar things. But even like this, this is a great park size. I really don't need any more power than this for a city park. As far as inverted, I almost have to hold no stick into it, just, just a trace. So 
since it's just clouds, I could probably just turn the camera upside down and you wouldn't even be able to tell it's upside down. <laughs> But see, Actually, it's pretty good. The clouds give good background for it. Makes it easy to see. So that's that's uh, the sixteen percent airfoil. We call them by their S number around the shop: the S twelve, S fourteen, S sixteen. But they're all Rebel series. So from Crash Test Hobby. Let's do a landing and a takeoff again, just so that I've got that on film. But here comes a landing, just floating in. I can actually flare that one out pretty good. Mm. That one definitely has the best glide out of all of them. Now this one did better coming in. Okay, you ready? Yep. Skipped. This time it's for real. And you crash again. <laughs> 